Obviously, a, a big win for you back in July. I guess I wanted to ask just kind of how important that was, you know, after the time away, after a couple of close losses, you know, to, to go in there and get a finish. How big was that for you? It was a it, that victory actually meant a lot because um, I was on the shelf for like a year and a half after a double elbow surgery. Um, and then after, you know, having like two split decision losses at 45, during that time I, I made the change to go to 35. And I think, uh, you know, it created a couple, you know, made a couple of waves here and there. And people knew it was like, oh, this guy's coming 35. This guy means business. So that was a huge victory for me. Yeah. Do you, to talk about those split decision losses, I mean, how, how tough is that to, 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 to digest, I guess? You know what I mean? Do you take lessons out of it, or is it just like, damn, these judges? I mean, wh wh how does it go? It's a bit of both. You know, like, um, I look at the, the loss to Shaman Marais. Um, I, I mean, I'll tell you what, that was one of my favorite fights. I learned a lot from that fucking fight. But, I'm sorry if I cursed. Um, but it was uh, the fact that Look, you can clearly see the size difference in those fights. You can clearly say that I'm, I'm always a smaller guy in all these fights. And, but look, I held my own at 45. That dude dropped me. He could not put me away. And I got back up. I kept fighting. I kept fighting. And first round, it was a close one. Second round, he took. Third round, I took. But I think the fact that it was the, since we were, I, I was the one bleeding the most, they were like, yeah, let's lean forward towards that guy. So, it was, you know, it, it's a toss-up. But then, you know, I just take a look at myself and I'm like, you know what, I, I should have done more. Then when the, the other split decision loss, you know, it was, it's a Styles fight. And like I said, they could have viewed it any way. Even though, you know, when I, when I fought uh, Hakeem, he, even he was upset about that, that he got the win. He's like, I didn't win that fight. But I was like, man, I got to get back and I got to do better. So, like, I reflect on those fights because they were close and they're close for a reason. And they're close because I could have done more. Yeah, it's a great way to look at it. Uh, all right, so Bantamweight now. Uh, how different is the lifestyle? Like, is this, I mean, is this something that you have to focus on every day? Because this is a pretty quick turnaround for you. Yeah, man. You, look, I, after being, being off for, such a, for, for, for a year and a half, I was like, look, I'm here to come back. And I'm going to come back, and I want to be able to fight as much as possible. Um, so at least I got two fights in this year. And then possibly next year, try to get at least three more fights in. But my focus is on Song right now, who's a... Uh, a tough opponent in front of me, and I'm just looking to now really break into these rankings. And look, I'm all in on this. I'm not. I'm not here to mess around. I'm here to make up for lost time. Yeah. Is it? Uh, I mean, is it like a lifestyle change for you to get to 35? Like, is it? I mean, you have to focus on like diet every day, or what's what's it been like for you? Yeah. It, you know, I had to. I, I make sure I, I. I always monitor my weight. I. I have uh, Eric Pena, who works with a lot of the fighters, and he does uh, my nutrition for me. So he always makes it easier for me to cut down to 35. He's making it real simple. So. It's not like a, like a struggle where you're like, God damn, I can't. I'm like, you're like dying to have some food. It's like, no. It's like I'm cutting my weight healthy. I feel great. I feel energized. You know, I feel ready to go. I don't feel depleted at all. And it was just making some adjustments. So the time off for me was actually really good because it made me like focus on little things, little details that I could have missed during, you know, the start of my UFC career. And now we adjusted those details and now we're – we're on it. So definitely a division for you then. Yep, you can clearly tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, talk about the matchup, right? They give you Song Yudong. I mean, obviously, he's been kind of a highly respected guy, you know, a, a prospect. So what did you think when this was the matchup they gave you? I'll tell you what. I got so I, – I got excited because, you know, I thought um, after my fight with Ewell, it went the part the way that I want to. Um, and I think people realized that, one, I have power in my hands. I can stand up. Uh, people seen that I can go down to the ground. And, you know, I thought I was going to get, like, another, you know, like, a, a, another opponent in the lower ranks. And they gave me somebody who was a top rank. So, I think he's, it's, now they're, they're, they're watching me. You know, the fact that they, you know, they gave him, they put me up against him, not only shows that, you know, it shows that I'm moving up as well. And that now you got two, two tough competitors right there, ready to go, go at it. Yeah. So, I'm excited about this matchup. Had you been watching him? I mean, obviously it wasn't your division, and maybe you weren't ready, you weren't thinking of that part of the, the rankings. I mean, had, had you been watching him, and what do you think of him? Yeah, look, one, he's young. He's, he's about 23 years old, so he's young, explosive, he's athletic. You know, he's got, a lot of, he's got a lot of hype behind him. And for someone like him, you know, he's, you know, he's, still, he's still coming up. He's still looking to improve. For me, like, 
I'm 32 years old, but guess what? I'm in my prime, so you can't sleep on me because now I got, I got 10 extra years of experience. I've been doing this now for, you know, 20 years of just being in the martial arts, and I continue to train every single day. That's what I, that's what I embask myself in. That's what I'm living and breathing every day. There's nothing else, and that's all that I do. So, yeah, he's a tough opponent, but you know what? So am I. Yeah, you went here. I mean, you, you, you got to be even though you're new to the division, right? You got to be talking about rankings. Um, so what's what's the process here? You, you kind of feel like it sounds like you want to fight like as much as possible and make up for some lost time, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Look, a, a year and a half layoff. That uh, you know, of course, I had to get surgery on my elbows and little things here and there. But then I was like, we this is our time. It's like let's make a run. Like I, I just want to fight. I just want to fight, and that's what I got these two fights in. Next year, looking to fight at least three more times, three or four times, right? Depending on how the fight's going. I'm not, you know, no major injuries, but I just want to stay busy. Very nice. Last thing for me, I guess, uh, how do you see this one playing out? Because on paper, it seems like it might be a, a pretty exciting little back and forth scrap, but I'm sure you want to go in and dominate, not be in a battle. But how do you think this one goes? Dude, all I know is this is going to be a barn burner. It's like people, you know, this is going to be a, uh, it's going to be an intense fight because look, you know, we, we got two, two strikers, we're gonna go. We're gonna go at it, right? And it's about. But at the end of the day, I'm looking to come out with my hand raising victory. Whether it goes decision, knockout, submission, does not matter. Like I'm looking to leave there victorious, and I'm looking to move into the rankings and make my climb up the ladder. Awesome. Thank you, sir.